Good evening, Major fans, and welcome to Season 2 of the Major Rundown. I'm your host, James Hill, and we are back for another year of the Major Rundown, the show devoted to Millsaps Athletics, put on to you by the Millsaps Athletics Department. Fans, we will be on every Wednesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. here on Metro TV. Again, that's every Wednesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. here on Jackson Metro TV. We've got a great show lined up for you today. We have footage from last week's Backyard Brawl where the Millsaps Majors defeated the Mississippi College Choctaws 23 to 17. We also have senior Raven Scott, volleyball player, a feature story on her. And we also have a team preview of the men's soccer team. Last week, Backyard Brawl 13 between the Millsaps Majors and the Mississippi College Choctaws got pushed back thanks to Hurricane Isaac. But finally on Saturday, they were able to get back on the field and brawl. Let's check out the action from Harper Davis Field. There were rain showers all across the metro area Saturday afternoon, except on the Millsaps campus, where sunshine and blue skies greeted the eager fans and players, ready to open up the 2012 football season backyard brawl style. The Mississippi College Choctaws against the Millsaps majors. 20 minutes till kickoff, players warming up. Not that they needed to warm up on this steam bath of an afternoon, but the emotions were running high as the majors were hoping for a little home cooking revenge after falling three straight years to the arch rival Choctaws. Millsaps won the toss, elected to receive, and the majors took the field ready for a brawl. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand and greet the homestanding Millsaps College majors as they take the field under head coach Aaron First drive, major fans got an early sign that it would be a big day for sophomore running back Mike Bartholomew as he rambled for this 45-yard gain into MC territory. Several plays later, Major's going for the touch, but the ball slips out, giving MC possession at the one-yard line. That doesn't last long, though. On third and 12, Joyner Stewart and Jeff Milner dropped the MC quarterback for a seven-yard loss. Chocks have to punt it away and the Majors take advantage of this possession. Jalen Jones romps for 14 yards to the MC 18 here, and several plays later, Bartholomew bulls his way in from the one for the Majors' first touchdown of 2012. Two-point conversion try fails. Millsaps leads it 6-0. Bartholomew was on his way to an amazing 150 yards rushing and one touchdown on the day. How was it down there in the trenches? Oh, you know, it's always rough down there, but our guys, you know, we're well prepared, we've been preparing. Our coaches did a good job with us, and I mean, we just got to come out here and do our game. An MC field goal cut the Millsamps lead to 6-3 in the second quarter, but the Majors responded with a scoring drive of their own. Bartholomew again leading the charge with runs of 12, 7, and 5 yards. That, along with this 43-yard pass from quarterback Garrett Pinciotti to Keegan Joplin, the Majors' leading receiver on the day, put Millsamps in field goal range where Sophomore Bo Brady booted a 30-yarder, giving the Majors a 9-3 lead in the second quarter. But the Choctaws scored their first touchdown of the new season just before halftime, so the Majors found themselves down by one, 10-9 at the break, and the brawl was on. During halftime, though, a lot of the sweaty football fans got a break from the heat inside the hangar dome and caught a little volleyball action. The Millsaps girls had a great afternoon beating East Texas Baptist 3-0 and Bellhaven 3-1. Coach Jamie Fisher's team is off to a 3-0 start on the new season. Back outside now, midway through the third quarter, Millsaps takes control of this 2012 backyard brawl. Drive starts around the nine minute mark. Pinciotti throws a dart to Keegan Joplin for a 14 yard touchdown. PAT good and the majors take a 16-10 lead. The major defense literally stuffed MC most of this day, holding the Chocks to only 74 yards rushing and 284 yards total offense. Preseason All-American Jeb White led the way with seven tackles. Alex Jackson added six, and six more majors had five tackles apiece. Joyner Stewart, Jonathan Moore, Greg Blazier, Zach Bell, Nick Arnold, and Garrett Cobble. Great day for the major defense. Now, midway through the fourth quarter, Millsaps would put the finishing touches on this backyard brawl with an eight-play, 69-yard scoring drive. 
This was a big third down conversion to keep it alive. A 21 yard pass to Charlie Strauss who bobbles the ball but keeps control for a first down at the MC 48 yard line. Two plays later, Pinciotti looks downfield, no one open and he keeps for a 14 yard gain himself and another Millsaps first down at the 29. Three plays later, here is the play of the game from the 28. Pinciotti lofts it high to a streaking Jonathan Moore. No way he's going to catch this inbounds, but the fingertips haul it in and unbelievably the feet are down. What a touchdown for Millsaps. Majors take a 23-10 lead. Major excitement. Let's see that one again. and how'd it feel to catch a touchdown? I don't know, it was, it was great, man. It was just, just celebrating my teammates was the best part, you know. I was praying to God I was in, I didn't know I was over there breathing water, but, you know, hey, it was just a blessing to be out there. MC would score once more, but in front of a home-cooking crowd, the Millsaps Majors snapped a three-game losing streak in the backyard brawl, downing the Mississippi College Choctaws 23-17, to the final score. Uh, Mike, man, you had a great game today. Sure did tote the ball a lot. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We got to do whatever it takes to win. Yeah. Yes, sir. How was it down there in the trenches? Oh, you know, it's always rough down there, but our guys, you know, we're well prepared. We've been preparing. Our coaches did a good job with us, and, I mean, we just got to come out here and do our game. You know, it's not really much to do. Well, you had uh, you had one touchdown, a little short run, but I saw you had some big runs out there. You know how many yards you had today? I know over 100 for sure. Over, okay. But, I mean, that's, that's because of my line, you know what I'm saying? I mean, without them, I can't run for no yardage. So, Team effort, team effort. There's no one person, it's a team effort. All right, so we're here with Jonathan Moore. Had a great game, interception and a touchdown. Tell us how it felt out there today. I don't know, it was good just to have all the hard work pay off, all the stuff that we put into this game, all the two days, all the practices, everything that we did just to come out today and just win. That's all we did. Came out, we finished, and we just did what we had to do. How was the coverage out there? Was it tough going against those receivers? or? They did exactly what we knew they were going to do on film. So, I mean, we just came out, we executed. Coaches put us in the position to make plays, and we made them, man. Jeb, great game today. Y'all's defense played well. How was it out there in the trenches? I mean, hell, it was hot out there, but, you know, we just flew around the ball. We got our second win in the second half. We came out there, we hit them in the mouth. That's all you got to do every day, baby, hit them in the mouth. Great. How was the coach's game plan? It worked out everything? It worked out perfectly. We actually saw less than we practiced for, so, hell, that's always good, you know. Yeah. We're ready. We're ready. Well, as a leader of this defense, and you know you're the leader of this defense, how does it feel to have all your teammates rally around you and have a great win like this? Man, it's the greatest feeling in the world, baby. Greatest feeling in the world. Go Majors. Touchdown, Majors! Every week here on the Major Rundown, we will showcase an Athlete of the Week for Millsaps College, chosen by a committee in the Sports Information Department. Let's look at this week's Athlete of the Week. Our first Athlete of the Week is Taylor Winslow, a sophomore out of Baton Rouge, Louisiana, on the women's soccer team. The forward came through with two goals on the afternoon against Letourneau University to lead the majors to their first win of the season, 3-1, to one, and also gave head coach Amanda Pascal her first win of her career. Our male athlete of the week is Mike Bartholomew of the football team. Bartholomew was excellent with 29 carries for 150 yards rushing and a touchdown. He was great all day and he is this week's athlete of the week. Stay with us fans, we'll be right back with senior volleyball player Raven Scott. It's a new day in Jackson Television. We are Metro TV, serving Madison, Rankin, and Hines counties with a local flavor. It's all about local people, local places, local events, local business, and local fun. You'll see your friends, your neighbors, and your family on Metro TV. Our goal is to showcase the positive aspects of life in the Jackson Metro area, from Brandon and Pearl to Madison, Ridgeland, Flowood, Clinton, Raymond, and Jackson. We'll provide professional quality, informative, entertaining, and fun programming specifically serving the Tri-County Metro area. So get to know us. We are Metro TV.
And welcome back to the season premiere of the Major Rundown. Major Rundown reporter Frazier Rowland caught up with the senior leader of the Millsaps volleyball team, Raven Scott. The leader on this year's women's volleyball team will be senior Raven Scott. She is an all-around student athlete. The past two seasons she has won all academic honors as well as all conference honors in athletics. And this year she is definitely going for the trifecta in her senior season. Last 10 seconds, go hard. Last 10, go, go, go. done great because you were the uh, 2009 Newcomer of the Year. I saw you got all academic and all SCAC in 2010 and 2011, so you going for it again? Uh, that is my plan. Of course, our team focus is on working towards an SAA championship, but if personal accolades come along the way, all the better, I guess. Yeah, well, I was going to ask, do you have any personal accolades or achievements, goals you want? Um, for this year, my personal dream as an athlete in general has always been to be an All-American. So that's something that I've been working towards since probably about my junior year of high school. Um, and it's something that's always in the back of my mind. And every time I train, I train extra hard. Just so this year's my last shot to uh, reach the top, I guess. Um, it was kind of funny as a freshman, her goal was to get her jersey retired. It was kind of a joke, but she's always had high aspirations for herself. Um, academically, um, athletically, whatever she does. So how did you get the name Raven? I think it's actually a funny story. I asked my mom once and when she told me that my name actually came from a soap opera she used to watch when she was pregnant, I was a little skeptical. So I don't know if that's the true story or if that's one she just kind of made up for me, but that's as far as I know. What's your high school sports background? Did you play volleyball or other sports? I went to Hondville High School, which is in Booty, Louisiana. And as a freshman, I played track. Well, I ran track. More specifically, I jumped. Um, I did soccer and volleyball. And then I played soccer until my sophomore year. And I think I ran track until my sophomore year. And then after sophomore year, so my junior year, I stuck with just volleyball. So why did you choose Millsaps? I chose Millsaps for a few different reasons. So one, I was recruited by Coach Fisher um, to play volleyball, but also I was a very good student in high school and I still consider myself to be. So I was looking for a very rigorous academic school, I was looking for a liberal arts college, and I was looking for a business program. So it just so happens that Millsaps is one of the only colleges in the country that is liberal arts and also has an accredited business program. So with that and the volleyball picture, things just kind of stuck. I actually want to own my own business eventually. Right now I'm an anthropology major with a business minor, um, but I hope to own my own nonprofit or my own business that relates directly to sports and leadership training and hopefully more specifically a volleyball club. So. <laughs> Well, hey, tell us a little bit about the organization that you and Claire and Sarah started to try and get more attendance at the, uh, at the games, mainly from students, I'm guessing. So Claire and Sarah are two of my best friends at Millsaps, and we are hardcore fans of absolutely every sport at Millsaps College and just in general. So our desire to start the club, I think, really started at an early age, started probably around freshman year. But we never actually saw ourselves doing it until junior year when we had the idea we really want to get more students to games and we can actually make it happen. Right. So from there we went through the entire process, came up with a name, decided we were going to try to get money from the SBA and really started getting involved with the administration, school, student organizations so that we could get this, uh, the majority up and running. So this is our first, going to be our first full year um, as the majority, as a school sponsored organization and we're really excited about it. Cool, good luck with that. 
All right, well, listen, if you had to pick the hardest working teammate of yours, who would you say that would be? It's, that's a very difficult question because I believe that all of my teammates work really, really hard. Um, aside from that, I think that Casey Laird is one of my hardest working teammates personally, but she also holds the rest of our team to that standard of working hard. So because she works so hard herself and she holds others accountable, I say that she works hard in multiple aspects of the game. She really tries to get in, look at film. She really gets in to work on her own game. And she really makes us push harder as individuals, so. That's good to hear. I mean, you know that you are considered the senior leader. And I mean, I, how does that feel? Are, are you comfortable with playing that role? Are you, you pretty confident being the senior leader? The uh, it's, it's, been a, it's been a long journey for me to get to this point. So I think four years, um, of learning from my own personal mistakes and trying to be really intrapersonal and realize how I've improved and then also be very interpersonal and see how my teammates have improved. I'm, I think I'm ready and like my senior class is a leadership team. We right. tackle everything together. So I think we're finally at the point where we understand ourselves and our playing styles well enough and then we work so hard at understanding the girls around us that I think this team finally has what it takes to truly be that team in every aspect of the game. Awesome. All right, well, uh, a little less serious here. Do you find yourself watching much of the uh, beach volleyball during the recent Olympics? I loved the Olympics. They were absolutely amazing. So the beach um, team, I watched both women's teams. I didn't see as much of the men's teams play, but I only saw them a bit. But when both women's teams had to battle each other in the final. I was so excited. Yeah. So I was rooting for Carrie and Misty the entire way. As much as Kessie and Ross were awesome, I wanted the good old girls to bring it home, and I was so excited when they did. I loved it. All right, Raven, well, um, last question here. What is the absolute best feeling you can get during a game, whether it be like a, a nasty spike or a good block or... What's, what, what gets you going? Well, the best feeling in the game, by far, nothing compares to when you stuff block the best hitter on their team. Yeah. When you stuff block the best hitter on the other team, when they're really going after a ball, it feels amazing. It is the absolute best feeling for me whenever I'm playing. And I love getting a good kill. I mean, I celebrate with the best of them after a good kill. But when you get a good block, it just energizes the entire team. It's a new day in Jackson Television. We are Metro TV, serving Madison, Rankin, and Hines counties with a local flavor. It's all about local people, local places, local events, local business, and local fun. You'll see your friends, your neighbors, and your family on Metro TV. Our goal is to showcase the positive aspects of life in the Jackson Metro area, from Brandon and Pearl to Madison, Ridgeland, Flowood, Clinton, Raymond, and Jackson. We'll provide professional quality, informative, entertaining, and fun programming specifically serving the Tri-County Metro area. So get to know us. We are Metro TV. Welcome back to the Major Rundown. Now let's take a look at a team preview of the men's soccer team. This year's men's 2012 soccer team is focused on their abundance of depth. We spoke with sophomore Chris Lawrence and senior goalkeeper Steven Andrew, as well as 10-year veteran coach Lee Johnson, about the perspective of this year's team. All right, Steven, so how do you like your new coach, uh, goalkeeper? Uh, Mike's pretty great, you know. Uh, he's coming all the way from Ireland to coach us. Like, but he's standing there, look at all that space. He brings a lot to the game that we didn't really have last year because we were out without a goalkeeper coach, you know, so uh, we didn't have the technical side of the game and we didn't have all the footwork. It was just up to us to train ourselves. So Mike's definitely brought a lot to help us improve instead of maintain, you know. 
This is your first year as a full starter, as a goalkeeper. You got some big plans for the year? Any goals, achievements you want to get? Well, uh, we're looking to back four, keep a clean sheet every game, you know. Can't lose if uh, they don't put any in the net. So, uh, looking, we're starting three seniors in the back, uh, Zabo, Taylor, and myself. So, looking to uh, have that senior leadership in the back and just win games. You got a pretty deep team this year, huh? Yeah, oh, definitely. Injuries have played a big part in our, uh, our previous seasons, but this time, got a big freshman class with a lot of talent and a lot of depth, you know, so looking to do some pretty big things with them. Steven, uh, he, he, he could be the senior leader this year, correct? Yes, yes. See, uh, Steven's probably right now uh, in a position to be starting the first game this season. Uh, he's done well through his three years, looking for a great year out of him this year. So. You expect a lot from him this year? Yeah, I expect a lot from him, from leadership to uh, his play on the field, you know, coming up, making big saves, and then really leading the guys during the course of the game. Well, how's the team looking this year? Uh, the team's, team's looking really well. Uh, we got a new assistant coach from last year who's helped out a lot, uh, Steve Voltz, and Coach Johnson's doing a great job. And we have a lot of nice incoming freshmen, so it's, it's looking promising. So you do like the new assistant coach? Yeah, I do. I like him a lot. He's, uh, he's from Germany, so he has a little bit of a different perspective on the game than uh, some people from America might have. So that having that blend really helps out a lot. And don't you guys have some uh, foreign foreign? We have uh, a freshman from Sweden and another freshman from Germany. So we're getting some uh, foreigners in. So what's y'all's goal for the year? Uh, <laughs> just like every other team, win, win all the games. Yeah, win all the games. You know, don't want to set low standards. And Chris is going to start in the back this year? Yeah, Chris, Chris came in last year as a freshman, did a tremendous job for us. Um, really uh, made it very difficult for teams to score against us. And I'm. I, He's just got such great speed. He reads the game well. He works really hard. Um, pain's not an issue for him. He played through a lot of pain last year with his knee, and this year he's 100% healthy, ready to go. What do you think your, uh, your strengths and your weaknesses are? You can go in either order if you want. I mean. uh, strengths this year, I believe, first one would be we got a lot of returning starters. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean they're going to be starting this year. So that kind of leads us into a big strength for us is depth. Um, with this freshman class coming in, it's created a lot of depth for us. Um, so now, you know, we're going to start a stronger team this year, and the guys coming off the bench are going to be even stronger. So the level of play shouldn't drop off as much as it did in the years past. So with this being your 10th season, how do you approach every new season? Every new season, we try to build on, on the seasons past. Um, you know, and it's, it's an opportunity to start new. It's an opportunity to uh, take in those new players, see how they fit into the system that we're running, and uh, build on, on where we're going for the future. Well, Stephen, why did you come to Millsaps? Well, came to play soccer, to be honest. I mean, it's pretty, uh, pretty dead set on going to uh, one of the big state schools, and I thought, you know, four more years to play soccer, a game I love going to come try it out and I just really fell in love with the school and the program here so decided to give it everything. Well, what are you majoring in? Uh, I'm going to be an accountant so far. Yeah and that's what you want to do with you, you want to get a CPA? Yeah I go on a CPA go get my CPA and go to graduate school uh, hopefully at the L school right here at Millsaps. Well do you see yourself emerging as the uh, senior leader of this year's squad? I hope so I mean we have a we have a bunch of great guys out here and uh, a bunch of leadership from the senior class. Um, I hope, whether it's me, I hope someone steps up. But I, I mean, it's going to come out the back. I think it'll be either Taylor or myself. And uh, just looking to lead the team and carry on to the uh, tournament. What's, uh, what do you love most about soccer here at Millsaps or just in general? In general, um, I just love the flow of the game. You know, It's just like a truly strategic game that never stops almost like a chess piece. You know, you have, to, you have to get your defenders, get your marks, and make sure that the ball doesn't get past you. And as a team here, I mean, I've never felt so close to a team, to such a great group of guys. It truly is an honor, you know, to play for Millsaps and to play here. All right, Christopher, well, tell us where you're from. Um, I'm from Shreveport, Louisiana. Uh, I went to Captain Shreve High School and I uh, played soccer over there. Gee, you only played soccer? Um, I did track, football, and soccer. Uh, so I did three sports while I was over there. Nice, nice. So what, uh, what made you come to Millsap? Um, well, Coach Johnson came and spoke to me a few times and gave me a few phone calls and 
came to some of my high school games. And I came here on a visit, and I just love the place, and I came here so I can play soccer and get a good education. Well, uh, what would you love the most about your visit, other than soccer, of course? Um, I love the fact that I came in here and I immediately fit in. Um, I just felt right at home when I came here, and just felt right. All right, well, tell us what you love the most about soccer, not just Millsap soccer, but soccer. Um, what I love the most is it gives me a chance just to get away from everything else. Um, I get to come out here and just kind of be me. I can run around, let out some of my energy, and I know just have fun. Back to Millsaps. Uh, so you came here to play soccer. What are you? Uh, what are you majoring in? And with your degree, when whatever it is, what do you plan to do with it? Um, hopefully, I'm going to major in accounting with a minor in business management. That's kind of what I'm looking at at the beginning of this year. But I mean, it all changes. So uh, I don't know exactly what it is. I'm gonna do. I mean, it's just the first few weeks of school, but hopefully, I can stay here in Jackson, have a lot of connections, and uh, and do well. It's a new day in Jackson Television. We are Metro TV, serving Madison, Rankin, and Hines counties with a local flavor. It's all about local people local places, local events, local business, and local fun. You'll see your friends, your neighbors, and your family on Metro TV. Our goal is to showcase the positive aspects of life in the Jackson Metro area, from Brandon and Pearl to Madison, Ridgeland, Flowood, Clinton, Raymond, and Jackson. We'll provide professional quality, informative, entertaining, and fun programming specifically serving the Tri-County Metro area. So get to know us. We are Metro TV. Now let's take a look at this week in Millsaps Athletics. The women's volleyball team is going to open things up as they travel to Tyler, Texas on the campus of UT Tyler to take on Texas College at 3.30 p.m. followed by Letourneau at 5 p.m. The men's soccer team will then have their home opener versus Delta State at 6 p.m. Moving on to Saturday, the women's volleyball team will be in action again as they will take on the home standing Texas Tyler Patriots at 11.30 a.m. And they'll finish things off against Mary Harden Baylor at 1 p.m. Football will travel to LaGrange to take on the LaGrange Panthers. They will get going at 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. And then moving on to Sunday, the women's soccer team will travel to Shreveport, Louisiana to take on Centenary at 2 p.m. And the men's soccer team will have their second home match as they will take on Huntington at 1 p.m. And that's this week in Major Athletics. We thank you for joining us for the season premiere of the Major Rundown. Keep in mind, this is the place where we'll be profiling our athletes and our coaches. So be sure and join us every week here on Metro TV on Wednesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Thank you for joining us and good night.